Hey everybody, making some progress on this F head engine again. We've got our torque plate, uh, deck plate, whatever you like to call it. Uh, I've got it uh, drilled and bolts are in it. <clears throat> and I cleaned up the bores. Uh, it was just a, a rough plasma cut. And uh, they cleaned up pretty good. They got real close to um, the finished size so I just went in there and uh, cut out a little material I needed to make sure that I had enough of the block showing so that when I bore it uh, the plate here won't be in the way <clears throat> so I have that bolted down I do not have a gasket in there uh, I don't really need to hold pressure in here I'm gonna check out uh, the area that I repaired and um, I'm starting to put put these uh, core plugs in. Uh, some guys call them freeze plugs. Uh, they don't actually um, crack or pop out when the block freezes. The block will crack. These are uh, originally to get the sand out of the block when they cast it. Coil bracket uh, mounts here. And those go directly into the water jacket. So I've got a little bit of uh, sealer on those bolts. I've got a block off plate on a water pump and I'm going to put this other plug in here I'm going to show you how to do that so that they don't leak on you uh, and then we'll put some air to this thing and, uh, and check out that um, that crack that I fixed so let me get set up and uh, we'll get this plug in here uh, I've seen a lot of guys put these in uh, backwards and uh, and they leak so uh, I'm just going to quickly show you uh, how to make those leak free hang in there I'll be right back with you Okay, I'm going to try and show this to you without getting in the way of the camera. Uh, I like to take a little bit of sealer and put it in the hole. I'm using some right stuff. And I didn't have the black last time I got it, so uh, this is just some gray. Same stuff. A right stuff gasket maker. And just get some in that recess. Okay, when you get your core plug, uh, one side's going to be dished, one side's obviously going to be um, pushed out. You want to take the dished side of it and put that in. It should be a snug fit. Okay, and that's bottomed out on the uh, uh, the shoulder in there. And if you put it just like that, it won't stay in there. Uh, so what you have to do now is kind of collapse this side of it. So we're just going to hit that with a hammer. Okay, what that does is it expands it tightly all around and uh, you don't need to go you don't need to take the ball peen in and really jam it in there just make it flat and that expands the plug out into the metal there makes it nice and tight a little bit of sealer will ensure that uh, uh, that you're leak free and uh, don't put it in uh, the wrong way with the uh, the dish side out it just it won't seal and it'll come flying out of there on you when you get uh, coolant pressure in there. Put it in, flatten it out, that'll expand it, and uh, you shouldn't have any trouble. So uh, we're just about ready to um, pressure test this. Like I say, uh, when you pressure test the cooling system, you just have to make sure all the uh, um, the ports and uh, cooling jackets and everything are blocked off. Water pump, all the holes in the top of the block, coil, uh, your two core plugs here and like I say you're not trying to uh, to keep air in there you know you're not doing a leak down test or anything you just want to have air flowing through there uh, so that you can see uh, where it's leaking uh, it's good 
if you really bore your cylinders uh, 80 over or something like that and you've got a lot of corrosion in the block sometimes you can uh, you spray some soapy water on the cylinders and sometimes there'll be a tiny little pinhole leak in the cylinder uh, something you should always do when you uh, <clears throat> when you bore it 80 over um, because you're really getting close there uh, a lot of times um, the bore isn't too big but the corrosion in the block over the years sometimes makes the uh, the walls a little thinner so this is where we're going to put our air into. Uh, I think you can see that. That's our uh, block uh, drain. And uh, I'll get some soapy water ready. And Right in this area here, we're going to look in there with a flashlight. We're going to spray some soapy water in there and make sure our repair uh, is holding uh, pressure. And uh, I like to use like a seven pound cap uh, on my cooling systems. Uh, some guys like a 15 pound cap. Uh, the seven pound always works for me. That's what I use on my cooling systems. Uh, so I, I like to go uh, three times the operating pressure. So I'll put uh, 21 to uh, 30 pounds of air in here and uh, and we'll see how that crack repair holds up so let me get some soapy water and I'll be right back with you okay guys we got the air oops almost lost the camera there we got the air flowing through the block and we'll just check our plugs here Okay, we got no leaks on that one. We got no leaks on that one. So that's how we go about pressure testing this. And like I say, we're not trying to capture all the air in there and, and, and pressurize the entire block. We're just, the air is flowing through. If there was a leak, we'd see it. And I sprayed some soapy water in there, and we have our crack is fine, uh, but we do have a little leakage between the head, obviously, and our, our plate and the head. We got a little bit coming out these exhaust manifold holes, but there's enough. You can feel the air coming out. You can hear the difference. Um, there's enough air flowing through there where you could find any crack. You know, if there was a crack anywhere, uh, any of these bolt holes had a crack in them or anything. Uh, you'd see that immediately, and um, I'm feeling good about our crack, and I'm feeling good about um, uh, the whole cooling system now. we checked everything out, our core plugs, things like that. Uh, so I feel good about uh, decking this block now. I'll take a light cut off the, uh, off the block, and then I have to recut that seat because the... Uh, the way the stitching pins went in there, I have to recut the seat. I got to put the new seat in, and then we have to uh, cut our three angles on that seat. Um, but for now, I just want to show you how you go about uh, pressure testing a block. Uh, as long as you can block off uh, all the coolant passages, it's easy to check out uh, your cooling system. And like I say, if you bore your block, you know, 80 over or something like that, just spray some soapy water down in the cylinders. And, uh, and take a peek in there with the air flowing through and you'll know if you're thin or if you have a little pinhole uh, you don't want to rebuild the entire engine uh, when you bore it that far without pressure testing it so a little pinhole could ruin your day so uh, that's the basic uh, instructions on how to pressure test it uh, hang in there and I'll be right back with you okay guys that was uh, 35 pounds uh, that that block, I had the, the pressure set at about 35. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the uh, the repair would hold. Uh, it looks like it's holding very very good. So the next thing that that's going to happen, this look this uh, torque plate will come off, and I will put the valve uh, guides in. Uh, they'll go in the block. And then uh, that's what uh, 
we'll put a pilot in the valve guide and then we'll get a seat cutter and we will carefully mill that seat and then I will show you how to put the uh, the new seat in and uh, and then obviously we'll grind it, we'll get the valves in and stuff but um, I want to have the seat in before uh, I deck the block so uh, that's what's going to happen next uh, I'm just about out of time today so I'll pull this off tomorrow and um, I'll get the valve guides set at the right height and then we'll ream them and uh, then we'll get working on milling the seat. So uh, just a quick pressure test today. The results are perfect. Very happy with the repair. Uh, this is going to be a very good block and uh, like I say, uh, <clears throat> remember how to put those in. Make sure you expand them out uh, and they'll be uh, they'll hold the coolant for you real good. Uh, I have seen guys put them in and have them pop out. Uh, make sure you expand them enough so they don't pop out. And uh, that's how you go about pressure testing a block. And uh, like a few people said, uh, if you're just pressure testing your block, you don't need a heavy piece of steel like this. Um, uh, one guy uh, said that you can make them out of wood, and, and that's very true. You can uh, epoxy coat uh, a, a big chunk of wood, pop some holes in it, uh, bolt that down and it will work uh, but like I say we're using this as a torque plate so this will be bolted and torqued properly before the boring and the honing starts so if you're just pressure testing any way you can get this thing closed off uh, it will work for you uh, you can put enough air in there or even if you have small leaks it's not a big deal if you just want to check a few areas um, just be creative about it and uh, block off all the cooling uh, ports and you'll be good. So uh, I'll get back with you guys tomorrow on this and uh, we'll make some more progress and hopefully uh, get all the valve guides in. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.